everyone. I'm attorney Aiden Durham with 180 Lockout in Denver, Colorado, and you're watching All Up In Your Business. So when you're in the beginning stages of starting a business and you want to open credit cards or some other kind of credit account with lenders or suppliers, it's really common for lenders to require a personal guarantee of the business debt by the business owners. Since the business is new and it doesn't have any kind of payment or credit history, no established financial accounts, nothing like that, the lenders, they want to make sure they're going to be able to collect their money one way or another if the business goes under. So the personal guarantee is often required. But as your business grows and your credit needs go up, you'll want to be able to demonstrate to lenders that your business can carry that burden of the debt and that they shouldn't look to the own individual credit worthiness to determine if they should lend to the business. And so to do that, it's important to establish business credit, and that's what we're gonna talk about today on All Up In Your Business. Before we get into it, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to check the description for some links to some freebie uh, downloadable guides and checklists and stuff like that too. All right, so credit for your business, why does it matter? Ideally, your credit would be completely separate from the business credit so that changes to one won't impact the other. If you make a few mistakes with your personal finances or your personal credit, hey, it's okay, we have all been there. It shouldn't affect your business credit and vice versa. And it can also potentially be a factor in piercing the corporate veil and that separateness of the business and the owners. Now, it's not going to be a huge factor. Don't start freaking out if you haven't established business credit. That one little thing on its own most likely isn't going to be enough to cause someone to pierce the corporate veil. But being able to demonstrate that the business has an established established credit history that's unattached and completely unrelated to your own personal credit that could potentially uh, be a factor that weighs in your favor one day. So how do you start to establish and build credit for your business? Definitely the first step to establishing and maintaining good credit for your business is to start with your personal credit because like I said, in the beginning, it's not totally uncommon for your personal credit to be looked at and scrutinized. So if your personal credit is bad, if you have poor payment history, if you have negative things reported on your credit report, do what you can to fix those and improve your personal credit while you're starting your business and working on your business credit too. The next thing to do is form an entity if you haven't already. Uh, in order to establish business credit, you need a business. If you're operating your business as a sole proprietor or as a general partnership, then all of the debt of the business is the owner's debt anyway. And there's really not a whole lot of ways around that. So if you haven't already done so, uh, set up an LLC or a corporation, some separate entity that can begin establishing its own credit. Next, you wanna make sure you get an EIN for your business. The EIN is kind of like the social security number for your business. You'll need an EIN to um, open credit cards or open business bank accounts, and you'll report your taxes to the IRS under the EIN too. And then it's also a good idea to open a business credit file with some of the major uh, credit bureaus as well. Uh, you know, Equifax, Experian, uh, TransUnion, the, the major credit bureaus that hold our personal credit, you can do credit reports and run credit history for businesses too. Um, businesses don't have the same kind of rights that individuals do with their credit. So uh, as individuals, we're entitled to one free credit report every year and some other things. Businesses don't really get that. So uh, a lot of times you do have to pay a fee to get a credit report or to find out if you have a credit file established with those bureaus. But it's worth looking into just to see if 
there is some established file for the business with the credit bureau already. And then along those same lines, uh, creating a profile with Dunn and Bradstreet, getting a Dunn's number, that's also a good step to start establishing and building credit for your business. A Dunn's number is kind of similar to like an EIN. It has nothing to do with taxes. The federal government doesn't care about your Dunn's number. Um, governments do kind of deal with it if you're doing government contracts, but it's separate from your EIN. But having a Dunn's number, uh, can sometimes be required depending on the type of work you're doing, but it can also help with establishing and building your business's credit. Business credit cards are a good way to start building up some credit for your business. Assuming you are responsible with credit and you can handle it responsibly, that's a big factor in all of this, obviously. If you can't personally manage credit or your finances responsibly, then don't worry about your business's credit. Focus on your own first. But anyway, opening a credit card, even if it has a really small balance, just one credit card, that's you know a little baby step to starting to build the credit profile and that credit history for your business. If you don't want to go into credit cards, if you don't want to deal with a credit card, or if you can't get approved for a credit card, then Opening accounts with vendors or suppliers, credit accounts, that can also help as well. And then definitely the best thing you can do to help your business's credit grow and have a good credit history is to just pay bills on time, regardless of who they're from. I don't care if it's your cell phone bill, your internet bill, or a bill from a vendor or a supplier or a credit card bill, pay them all on time. And then ask those companies if they can report your payments to the credit bureaus. Not all of them will, some, some do, some don't. You can look for credit cards specifically that do report to uh, Dun & Bradstreet or to credit reporting bureaus, or you can ask your vendor or suppliers if they will report your payment history too. But having that good payment history, even if it's not directly tied to a credit account, that can be a really great way to start that process of building up your credit history for your business. And then of course, like why do we even care about business credit? If you're not interested in getting loans, if you don't need to utilize debt for your business, then maybe credit's not a big deal. If you're in a position where you don't need to rely on uh, credit from suppliers, if you have enough liquid cash to pay for things up front, then debt doesn't matter and you don't need to deal with that. But it's really common in business, especially as the business grows, to leverage debt in order to develop new services, grow your team, purchase property, whatever it is. So even if in the beginning, if uh, credit for your business doesn't seem like it's important, it may become an important thing later on when your business is uh, you know, multi-million dollars and you need to buy that jet if you're just a little short on cash for that private jet and you need to get a loan, you're gonna hope you have that good credit history. And then I'm gonna hope you come to Denver and pick me up and take me wherever you're going on the private jet. Thank you. But really having a good credit history with your business is gonna help you get good interest rates and favorable terms from lenders and banks, and then better terms with any suppliers or any other people who extend credit to your business. That's all for this episode. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. You can also check out my blog for more information on this topic. The link is down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Aiden Durham, and I'll see you next time.